I was going to make this uh, update about the twin switch uh, setup on BSA Bantams, specifically the uh, D7. Um, I'm glad someone asked me the question because I simplified the uh, connection drawing, but I'd actually made a mistake. So thankfully, because someone asked me a question, I was able to correct that before I uh, put it into film. Um, this is similar to the um, schematics you get on Japanese uh, wiring diagrams, much better system when you think about it. And if you see the, all the contacts, so you've got H or I off and um, lights or emergency, and, and when you look at it and you lay it out like this, it's, it's obvious. The fact that the, um, the switch inside is like a CND sign with three contacts on it, and as you turn it one way, it'll contact to there, to there, to there, etc. And of course, when you look at this, it's obvious. So there it is in the center position, say, we'll take this, these set of pins. So there it is in the center position. You turn it one way, of course, it goes to four and five. You turn it that way, it goes to six and seven. It's obvious when you look at it in a schematic like this. And this, this uh, schematic works for any of the switches, just the switches, mind. There's more to it than that. As I've since discovered, I've now um, acquired a D10, and I've also got a B175. It's only when you compare the schematics that you realise what's going on. Now, the question that I was asked was this. When you look at the wiring diagrams, what are you actually looking? Are you looking at the bottom of the switch, or are you looking at the top? Well, since I've got one of these switches in pieces, it became absolutely obvious that what you're actually looking at is the bottom. And always on these diagrams, one with the black dot is pin 10. Now, pin 10 is the blank top, well, the cut-off pin, pin 10. So we can get that in focus so you can see it. Uh, so going clockwise from underneath, pin 1, pin 2. Now, pin 2 on the standard original YPAC uh, switches is the silver pin. So, if you were looking at this schematic underneath, you say, get to come on, focus, focus. Uh, pin 10 is the blank cut-off pin. Pin 1, pin 2 is the silver pin. If you have a look on here, always inside the switch, there is a hard link hidden from view. You can't see it. It's actually inside the switch, and that is permanently linked, pin 10, pin 2. Now, the, the thing uh, most important, people make the assertion that or you, you can fit any wiring loom um, so if it's a twin switch any wiring loom would do oh it's only the colors that are different that's actually wrong absolutely wrong um, you can see here just inside there's a link there well that wire that link it's actually pin 3 and pin 4 is actually linked inside the rubber receptacles so you don't see it it's actually, um, you know, if you pulled it apart, you'd see it soldered, a little shorting link between the two pins. Now, I've just had a look at my B175, uh, my uh, D10, and they also have shorting links, but onto different pins. So you're going to run into an absolute heap of trouble if you try and fit a later wiring loom um, to an earlier D7. And the reason why I've uh, actually indicated on here... And the reason why is so you can see there, pin 3, pin 4 have a hard link inside the rubber loom receptacle, as it were. So, um, let's see, pin 3, pin 4. Now, you can see that will come into play there. So, when you put it to um, lights or E, you know, depending on whether it's a light switch or a, um, an ignition switch, you'd see then that that shorting link goes all the way around to pin 10. Um, so if you then put it in that position, uh, there, so it's say 2 and 3 is joined, you think, OK, 2 and 3 is joined. So I'll take a multimeter, check the continuity between pins 2 and 3. Yeah, lovely. But then you'd have to say, oh, well, wait a minute, it's got that shorting link inside the plug. So pin 3 is joined to pin 4. And also, that joins pin 2, pin 3, pin 4 together and, oh hello, the short link as well, the hard short link, which would then join that pin 10 to pin 9, so all of those pins are connected in that position. 
So this is where you'd have to watch out because if you had a late of wiring loom with a different shorting length inside, you'd have all sorts of problems um, trying to get everything to work. And the other thing, um, especially if you're, you're new to bantams, people look at the switches and they think that the, um, it's basically a pointer on top of the switch, isn't it? And they think that the pointer points to what it's doing, but it isn't. You've actually got on the um, plastic dial, you've got an I or an E or an H and whatever's pointing, well, there should be a little mark on the headlamp so which, whichever um, letter is pointing forward is what you're actually operating, not the switch, it's a bit of a misnomer that so obviously you can see an H or I, the H would be on the left and that would be pointing forward or if it's off obviously the point would be in the centre um, and if you're going for L or E it would be to the left, anti-clockwise So just to recount, when you're looking at the diagrams, you're looking at the switch from the bottom. So that's the top of the headlight. That would come. That's what you'd view inside the headlamp, and the wiring loom would go onto it from the bottom. Hope that helps.